One, two, three, one, two, three. Guys, we're doing embargo today for Sunday, so it'll be a 10.30 p.m. Saturday embargo. Um, I have two microphones, and if I could ask you for your name and organisation before your question, please. Hello, Pep. Fraser from Sky Sports here. Uh, first of all, can you bring us up to date with the injury situation, please? Uh, <coughs> Everybody is okay. Delph is not uh, available. And uh, the others are, are okay. Gundogan? Ah, okay. Gundogan, yeah. Gundogan is a little bit problems. I don't know if you'll get it. Always, yeah, he could not train today. <laughs> we'll see tomorrow. And we saw that uh, Kevin De Bruyne was back in training. Is he yeah. coming along well? Is this game too early for him? Uh, he 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 made a part of the training session today as well. Yeah. So he's he is in the squad. He's training with us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, obviously, after the the three games uh, defeated against Liverpool last season, how much confidence do you have that that you and also the players have have learned from those three games going into this one now? Well, every game is completely different. The competition were completely different. So in the first game we had uh, 10, 10, 15 minutes bad. And Emilio was 4-1 in Anfield. In the Champions League, the first game we make a... And people don't believe me, but we make a good, good performance. Except the period of 3-0 to the end of the first half when we were knocked out. The rest of the game we were outstanding. And the situations would happen. Many, many things that game in the second half we show an incredible a credible performance because it's not easy to play 45 minutes in Champions League, 3-0 down in the way we played and after there are situations we cannot control. In the game at home we make a really good game as well. In the first half when uh, we scored the second goal we were not conceded for the reasons I know and um, and after with after 1-1 of course we were down and we could not but we know. So Liverpool, it doesn't matter, we lost three games, so we win three games, remains a top squad, top team, top side. Especially since Jurgen uh, took over the team, especially the last period, is a team like, uh, like had a lot of weapons, you know, to, to attack you in a positional game, in a counter-attack, in set pieces. And they are a master in, uh, in take, take, take advantage of your mistakes in terms of the second balls and the ball is not clear and after that when they regain this kind of balls they are so good making a con real attack and the people, the, the three guys in front, they connect really well between them and, and they, they, that's the top side so it's the last guys from the, for the Champions League final and, and, and it's a good contender. So because of that, were you surprised to see Liverpool not have a shot on goal against Napoli and get uh, beaten in the Champions League the other night? But you are surprised because uh, you don't know what happened in Europe. So the people believe because we are here in England, that Europe is another situation and you go to Napoli, Napoli is an incredible team, an incredible team. Like they play so good, a good manager. And they play outstanding, and when you play away, it's completely different here in the Premier League. Completely different. The level is higher. The the opponents, the way they play, the personality, the the courage, the all the situations they need to to be a top top team in Europe. Most of them, all of them, they have it, and that's why it happened. So of course, Liverpool tried to do their game, but I, I give more credit. What Napoli uh, had done, and the, the 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 situation from from I don't think Liverpool play bad. The same movement offensively, defensively, they try to do it. So in that terms, it's not 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 a, a surprise. I'm a surprise. The fact that Napoli plays so good, so well. Obviously, the last time you went to Anfield, you were pretty unhappy about the security around the the team bus as you arrived at the ground. Are you confident <coughs> now that uh, steps have been taken in order to make sure that that doesn't happen again? But you, uh, how should they? Liverpool should be upset. Not myself. Liverpool, not me. So the police knew it. Before it happened, it happened. Now they know it. I don't know what's going to happen. Pep, Simon Stone, BBC. What, 
What would you say to the people who say Jurgen Klopp and his side have worked out Manchester City and have worked out how to beat them? Good, congratulations. They are right. But so we won the Premier League. So but do you, do they are at top side even if uh, we win. So the way they play, so Liverpool beat us, but beat a lot of teams, not just not just Man City. So team uh, Liverpool is one of the greatest in England. Is one of the two greatest teams in for the, in England, and that's why we try to be close of them in terms of many many things, and we are closer. So it's a it's a top side, and they win. and learn of that and. Try to be closer every time. But no, nobody else. I mean, you won the title by so many points last year and beat so many teams last year. Nobody else found a way of beating you. Well, we we won we won at home. We lose there in the knockout competition. Champions League is completely different. So also we lose against Monaco in Champions League. So and against Shakhtar at home. So I'm not feeling beatable. Not even last season. So everybody can beat us when one team is better and play good and they beat us, accept it. It's part of the of the game, it's just to learn because Anfield is special, because they are a good a good manager and good players and that can happen is how we approach that game and how we are like a team. Pep Don McGuinness Talk Sport. Can you just clarify something? You said Kevin De Bruyne is training. Is he available for selection for Sunday? We'll see tomorrow. And about, and about Sunday, Sergio Aguero, he is fit, obviously, everyone else is fit. It's nine games at Anfield, he still hasn't managed to score, which is remarkable for a player like, like Sergio. Can you understand, can you put any reason to why that might be, why he can't score at Anfield? No, football. Normally when the team play better and play good, the striker has more chance to score a goal. It's what it is. It not depends. When we score a goal, of course, they have ability. When I see one player take the ball at dribbling three or four or five players score goals, it depends more of, more of the times on, on him. We, we have many of that, I would say anyone. So we have one player that are able to dribbling four or five guys that score goals, so we have to build something as a team. And in that situation, we will help our strikers when that's happened. Always it depends on, because maybe we didn't help him like a team to, 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 to provide him or to help him to create more chances to score goals. Just about Anfield, I mean, obviously we, we know what happened last season. Is the pitch anything to do with it? It's very tight at Anfield. Is there anything that, that the pitch maybe makes life harder for you? That is not the reason why. So pitches is, is big enough to, to play. So I play in fourth division, and fourth division is more tired than Anfield. So of course it's special because uh, Anfield is so nice and uh, the history speaks for itself. But in spite of that, it's a, it's a game 11 against 11. It depends on how move, how we move, how we want the ball. The, the pitch will be big or will be small. That depends. If our the people want the ball, want to play, want to play, the, the pitch will be big. If don't, it will be so tight. Jonathan Smith from P uh, ESPN. Hi, Pep. Um, Ilkay Gundogan said that this is the toughest away game of the season. Would you agree with that? There are many. Always when I face one, one game away, always for me is the toughest one. I don't... It's, it's three and eight, or three, three and eight games, so after the games we have, I think, three games more to play. So, and after the points in Liverpool is the same than the points when we're going to play. When you want to win the Premier League, that is the target. That is the, the you know, the... Yeah, the target is, is three more points than everywhere. And just on injuries, is, is Benjamin Mendy, is he uh, in training? He, he came back today to train, yeah. So he's in contention for something? Yeah. Hi, it's Guillermo Balaguer. Hi, yes. Um, com if you compare the new team that played against Liverpool in the Champions League to this one, what are you better at now? Well, I would say quite uh, quite similar. So depends on the form from from the players. It's quite similar. It was in that period. It was the last part of the season. So we in that situation we we made. But I think we we made a good two games in uh, in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. We make a real good good two, two games in terms of personality, in terms of of the way we played. Uh, 
Of course, we reached that result was not good because the match was 5-1, I think so, so nothing to add, so they deserve uh, to qualify, but we made a, a good performance. David McDonnell from the Daily Mirror. Um, of all the managers you faced in your career as a manager, um, I think you got the worst points per game ratio against Jurgen. I think it's 1.14, something, something like that. What, what makes his team so difficult to play against? What particular qualities um, and, and problems does he present to you in terms of the way he lines up his team and the way they All the, they quali play? All the qualities every know, everybody knows about Liverpool they have. All the qualities they have is when, when we played. So... At the end, is the teams or the clubs, or the, the, the institutions who who wins the game. So, even without a manager, I have I have uh, better results. As I don't I don't play against Jurgen. So I play against Liverpool. We play against Liverpool, and before against Borussia Dortmund. That is what it is. So in some games I win, sometimes I lose. Sometimes I lose competitions. Sometimes I win competitions. We win. So it's not about, uh, I don't play against you and I try to, to win Liverpool, that is the point. But if they want to, we want to, because he's a, an excellent manager, so I have a lot of respect about the way he plays, how proactive they are, their teams, his team, so that is. So never when I play a manager I have to beat him, or I have to try to beat him to be more satisfaction, no. I try to beat less a team and I'm going to try next season. And uh, in, 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 in Premier League we did it, and in Champions League we could not do it. Hi Pep, I'm Jamie Jacks from The Guardian. You said earlier, and you said it before, that the Champions League is a different competition. What, surely th th they're still just games of football, so why is it, can you explain why Better play. playing, Liverpool in, playing Liverpool in the Champions League is different to playing them in the league, why? By the competition knockout, so in the league you have a lot of games. The mentality of the players, they have more time in, in their 10 minutes bed, you feel you are out and you miss the chance to, to go through. You have to be more stable and especially in that competition, the players, they have more quality in terms of they don't lose the ball easily. They have one pass in again. But guess. Liverpool, you play domestically, so that's the same opponent. Mm -hmm. And in a home and away quarterfinal, that's like playing them home and away in the league, right? So is there any difference? No, what I said is the same teams, the same managers, but the knockout game is one game, and you know, yeah, but not 39, not 38. That is what I talk about. So, in a, in the Premier League, we are going to play tomorrow, and after you have, I think, 87 or 90 points more to fight to be champion. The target is win champions of the Premier League, it's not winning Anfield. Anfield is another tight to chance to win one more points to be closer to win the, cha the, the to be champion in the Premier League. In the championship, in the Champions League, is 180 minutes, like Hoffenheim away. So you have now four more chances. So you have many. And that is in the mind of the the players. That's why to to learn to play this kind of of of, of games, you have to be a lot of personality. You have to be. You have to have, you know, uh, able to say okay to go through in this competition. I have to be special. The players has to be special. This kind of games. Hi, Pep, uh, Ian Ladyman from the Daily Mail. Um, Liverpool get a lot of praise in this country for the way they play their football. They get a lot of praise from people who are sitting here. Um, do you sometimes wonder why that is, given that you finished 25 points, I think, ahead of them last season? They deserve it. I think they deserve all the prize they, they got that they get. So they deserve it. So I think we, we had a lot of pride last season in the way we played. But for us, it's the people to try to, you know, for Manchester City, is when you have a vision about the whole history in the Premier League and start to, you know, to compare with them, you know, to be closer with them, we should be so proud. And we are. So here it was always, it was United and Liverpool, and after Arsenal involved in that, and after Chelsea involved in that, and now we are there. We try to be, you know, to close it. And, and when the people, we go to the, you know, and, and the people say, oh, it's Manchester City. So, but at the end, if they want to be good words on us or bad words, it not depend on us. So what you can do is try to do one job. But I think last season, what we have done, the people were so kind mm -hmm. of what we have done.
When you look at the, the three forwards at Liverpool who, who are kind of present a, a, a unique threat the way that they play and obviously they have caused your team problems before. Do you think as a coach you have worked out in your head how, how to stop them? And if you have worked it out, is the problem maybe with the players not being able to carry out the instructions that you give them in order to stop them? It's a very long question. I hope you understand it. Always I thought this kind of play is a big, big challenge. The best way to, to avoid to that is uh, when they have to run behind us. So, the, 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 the big difference when I said in the Champions, for example, is not about the duels you won against the opponents. It's, it's how many times you lose the balls. In Europe, the people doesn't lose the balls. That is a big difference when you compare the national leagues and that when you go to Europe. And uh, sometimes we talk about the duels if football is part of it, so important of this kind of situation in Anfield is fundamental. But uh, these kind of guys, when they are more in touch with the ball, they have more chance close in the 18 yard box, they are so dangerous because they are so good. And, uh, and, and they connect between them and really well. Firmino drop a little bit. Mane Salah, they are guys who love runs in behind when it was Marco Royce over Mayan, Lewandowski was before in 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 in, in Dortmund, so they, they do it really well. So in the same way, always I believe, and that is the way I, I feel my my game is try to to attack better, to have a lot of you know the ball, to of course be protect when you lose the ball because they are so dangerous, but try to play. So I never understood go in the biggest stages like that and try to just defend or just to wait what's going to happen. Of course, you're going to defend. So I'm not expect what happened in Napoli when they didn't shoot one shooting target that is not going to happen in Anfield and Anfield always they are going to shoot and target but you have to minimize that in the worst way you can defend always I believe so you have to defend when they are better and you have to defend but not in the mental and the approach so we are going to defend what's happened first because it's boring the second one because we didn't build the team in that way we didn't build to you know to propose to be proactive to be ourselves. And always when I won in that teams in these kind of games, like it happened many, many times, and we, we did it many, many times in in the biggest stages here in the Premier League, even in, in, in Europe, is be ourselves in terms of personality. So and after when that's happened and we lose again, congratulations, Jurgen and his side and improve. But uh, I don't want to I will try to convince my players to be them ourselves, even in Anfield. So sometimes maybe it will not be possible. That's why when I said in the Champions League, when you see the game, the first two goals is the first two times to cross the half time. The half side, so we score two goals. When that's happened, what we, we can do? And and you know, in a mistake for the pass to Leroy, the pass to to, to pass to, to Salah is offside. And after it was one, two, three action, two mistakes, the score a goal. The second one shoot from the, his house from Chamberlain, the score an amazing goal. So what we, we can do with that? Nothing. But how we react in the second half of the 3-0, can finish five, can finish six. They score five to Roma. And when we play the second half, when a legal goal was not conceded, a penalty of Sterling for Robertson was not conceded, for many of these kind of circumstances. So, but we were. That is what I won on my team. And after, when that's happened and, 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 and Liverpool is better, believe me, I'm a sport guy and I accept this kind of situation. First, because they are good. And even we are city and we are a good team and we we can do many good things. The other are good too as well. So and that's why I accept this kind of situation. But I would like to be ourselves in the best way I think to finish. Well, your question is to try to you know to be ourselves and to concede as less possible a touch. I think Mane Salah and Firmino would like to have been in touch with the ball and attack and attack and attack. But they are strikers. To minimize that, is try to attack more and, and try to be with the ball as good as possible. Hi, Pep. Amy from Hits Radio Manchester. Are you concerned that some Manchester City fans have been discussing on social media about going to Anfield early so that they can line the streets because they think that's the best way of protecting your team bus from arriving rather than the policing operation in place? I think they have to. The best way to protect the bus is the Liverpool fans be like, so suppose Liverpool fans they are. That is the best way. So the best way is when the people arrive to the stadium, go into the see one game, football game, and enjoy in both sides. That is the best way. The best way we should we should not need the police. Why the police should be there? For what? 
We are right there to play a Premier League game in the both sides. Why our fans has to protect our bus? Are you kidding me? So the fans are you going there to watch the game? I would like the police to go at 4.30 at home with their families, drinking a beer, and look the show. That is what should do. But that depends on the Liverpool people, not of Manchester City. Okay, guys, we're in Embargo, please, for 10.30 on Saturday evening.